So again, first thing is figure out what all the darn letters mean. I got a B up here. That is, looks like the number of bacteria, B. And then I got a T up here, which is periods of time. It's only two variables. B meaning the number of bacteria, T is the periods of time. How long will it take for the bacteria to reach 51,200? So what's that going in for? That's it might be, right? That's the number of bacteria. And we're solving for T right now, but we have to do something at the end. But for right now, we got to solve for T. So 51,200 in for B. And let's try to solve for T. Where is T, by the way? As an exponent. All right, our discussion should be over. We know it's going to happen eventually, which is logs. But not until the thing is by itself. That's been the whole common theme through this entire unit. Nothing's get, nothing gets done unless it's by itself. So I need the 2 raised to the T by itself. How are we getting the 100 out of there? Divide both sides by 100. That knocks off the two zeros there. So we got, what, 512 equals 2 to the T. All right, now it's base exponent by itself. I'll slow it down here because now this is really review. Now it's time to log, right? So what's this look like on the right side? The T comes down. And then I do what to the base? Log the base. Yes. So log of 2. Keep it balanced. What do I mean? Log the 512. And then now I need to get T by itself. Divide both sides by the log of 2. What do we get, 9 here? Okay. Uh, great work there, but unfortunately, that's not my final answer. And this is why it's so important for you guys just to read everything. Go back. What's T stand for again? Not just not time, periods of time. So nine periods of time, and each period is 15 minutes long. So in minutes, how many minutes will it take? So I know it's going to take nine periods, and each period is 15 minutes long. So what am I doing with the nine here? There you go. All right. So just be careful there. And I, right, there's a reason why they had to throw that 15 in there if we didn't plug it into the equation. So 135 minutes. Anything there? That was that wasn't too bad. Because look at this next one and all the variables. Now it's going to get involved. And I didn't do it here, but I will do it for you on the test on Thursday. There's actually multiple questions I need answered here. So on Thursday, I'll put a part A, a part B, a part C, but uh, we'll go through that here now. Wow. Huh? Look at this. It's a pretty intimidating uh, formula, but we do have what each piece means. So, and we got some numbers flying at us already. 68 degrees, the turkey is 68 degrees, oven temp 325, got it. And I got this cute formula here, but at least I tell you what each variable means. All right, are we ready? First question is, turkey reaches 100 degrees after two hours, find the value of K. So that's my first question here, find K. All right, again, on Thursday, I'll do a part A that says find the value of K, part B, part C. But right now, it's find the value of K. Hey, which means, guys, everything else has to be plugged in for. K is the only thing going to be left hanging as a variable. And E, obviously, because E is the number. But everything else, I'll just blow this up right now. We got to plug in for everything else. Okay, the only thing that's going to stay is the K. It's the only thing that's staying. Everything else I need your help with.
All right, so why don't we go by the numbers here. First thing, 68 degrees, that's the room temperature. So if you look at what all these mean here, where do you think I'm gonna plug in the 68, which is the room temperature and the temperature of the turkey? The initial temperature of the object. Yes, the initial temperature, which is our turkey, is 68. So we plug that in for T is zero, 68. All right, ready? Placed into an oven that's at 325. So that 325 has got to go somewhere. Surrounding the temperatures, right? I put it in the oven, the temperature in the oven surrounding the turkey, 325. So that's T of sub A. So plus here, 325. And then also right here too, right? Because I got two T of A's. So my, oh, that's a minus 325. All right, we're good. We're doing great. I just need a T value and uppercase T and lowercase T here. So T is the time in hours and T is the temperature of that object after those hours. Anybody have many more values to give me here? Because I got two more to plug in for. How about right here? The temperature is 100 after two hours. Where can I put the 100? Capital T, right? 100 degrees after two hours, my time. How are we feeling about the plug-in? I know this is pretty in depth here. All right, where's your K? Where's the K? Exponent, all right, so we know we're going to have to log eventually, but hey, whoa, whoa, we got a lot to clean up. All right, we have a lot to clean up here. So 100, 325, let's clean up that parenthesis right now. What's that going to give me? Two, negative 257. So we'll put minus 257. E to the neg, I'll reverse those, negative 2K. Hey, can I subtract the 325 and minus 257? Can I subtract those two? No, no. Absolutely not. That's attached. That's attached. Can't subtract them. All right. Uh, we're not doing logs yet because remember that bad boy's got to be all by itself before we log. What's your move? Subtract 325. I like it. Bless you. Negative 225. Don't drop your negative on the right side. Still negative 257. E. Still no, still not ready to log both sides, right? Next up. Yep. Get the negative 257 out of there. Does that give you, I don't think that uh, reduces anymore, does it? Negative 225 divided by negative 257. Nope, it doesn't divide that. You now, again, we talked about this. You either write the fraction or you write out the whole decimal. We don't round it, right? So I'm just gonna keep it 225 over 257 or write the whole decimal out. Now uh, here, we ready now? Is it by itself, base exponent by itself? Base exponent all by itself, right? So, oh, whoa, we could get a little nuts here. You can log, right? You can go bring that negative 2K down, log E. Yeah, we can do that. Anybody else wanna get a little nuts? We can also, because it's a base of E, if we want to eliminate it, do one on both sides. Natural log on both sides. Remember that? You can take the natural log and that automatically eliminates both without doing any logs at all. Your call. Your call. I'm going to get nuts, though. 
If you want to do the logs, do the logs. All right. Actually, you know, what do you, what do you guys prefer? Okay. All right. Fine. Fine. We'll log it. But if you want a natural log it, feel free. All right, where are you going here? What are you dividing both sides by? I gotta get K by itself. You can do this in one step or two. I'm gonna do it in one, but if you want to do it in two, divide by log E, then divide by negative two. All right, I'm gonna do it all in once because you guys have calculators that can handle it pretty easily. Divide by all of it, negative two log E on both sides. Again, if you, want, if you feel more comfortable doing it step by step, then do it in two steps. thousand so you should have three numbers three numbers after the decimal how do you see yeah how do you or what okay what's going on here oh we need to go up to it i think you can go over to the three dots or no yeah, yeah, yeah. and expand it out better thank you for letting me know can you type the equation in from the start into the equation part of your calculator, or would it not work? What, this right here, Grant? No, like the part that we formed, yeah, the 100. It should, but again, I'm going to need to see work. Okay. How you got there, I just can't have you guys use the calculator, and that's it. Okay, but if you want to check it that way, sure. Okay, yep. Wait, what's the nearest? No, 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 this was nearest 1,000. Find the value of K to the nearest thousand. Oh. All right, that's part A. All right, everyone good? Point zero six six. Let me know. I don't want to have this come up on Thursday and then we go crazy. All right, there's a second part of this question. Again, I'm sorry for not putting parts A and B, but I will on Thursday. So that was the first part. Next part is, hey, what's the temperature of the turkey at 3 o'clock? All right, we got our K value now, which we can use. We want to know the temperature of the turkey at 3 o'clock. So everything else is staying the same. What are we solving for now? Temperature of the turkey at 3 o'clock. Yeah, hey, we're going right here, right? The temperature, right? The temperature of the object after T hours. So this is nice now. We're not going to have to do any logs. It's just going to be plug in, plug in, plug in, and calculate. Ready? So T equals... Everything's staying the same, right? 325, there's gonna be one thing that changes. Plus 68 minus 325. E to the negative, we just found out what K was, right everyone? We just found out what K, well, we don't need to solve for it, 0 0.066. So negative 0 0.066, now here comes the clincher, what's my T? Right? It said 3 p.m. Where's everyone getting? I hear a lot of sevens. Where's the seven come into play? Right? We placed it in the in the oven at 8 a.m. Now it's 3 p.m. 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. Yep, that's where the seven comes in. So we're going to multiply that by seven. And no logs, no nothing needed. Just got to use my calculator and plug it all in. And that's to the nearest degree. Good job. Good job not plugging in three. 
because it's been in the oven for seven hours. Sixty-three. Look good. Wait, how'd you get that? I got a huge number. Yeah. Let's make sure. <laughs> check what you typed into the calculator. I deleted all the numbers. We get one sixty three. Yeah. About one sixty three. I got something else. I just don't know what I did wrong. Let's see. Three twenty five plus sixty eight times okay. point. Remember, our C that was our kind of point. That was point oh six. Oh, oh, it's right. Right. Point yeah. six. So it's point oh six six. So that's what you want to type in here. So you want to go back up. Right. 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 Okay, anything else? All right, two more here. This next one is a two-parter too. Just written as one whole paragraph here. All right. So here you go, part A. We're going to use this equation. Take a peek. And part A is going to be using this equation, solve for H. All right, so that's our first one. Oh, boy. Sorry, guys. Nearest 10,000. Oh, boy. All right, so that's our first part right now. Part A is going to be solve for H, round it to the nearest 10,000. So you guys know a thousand is it's one more. So four numbers after the decimal. All right, I need your help. I know I'm solving for H, so that means I have one, two, three more things to plug in. All right, three more things to plug in. Uh, all right, let's start with A0. That's my initial mass. What do you got for me? A0 is the initial mass. Buck 40. There we go. Good job. So buck 40 in for A0. All right, what about A now? And A is the mass of T, mass T hours after 3 p.m. So what's my new, I know my initial was 140, what's my new one now? 100, right, it's 100. So it was 140, a couple hours went by, now my new mass A is 100. Now be careful here, what's gonna be the T value? is the mass hours after 3 p.m. And we're at 8 p.m., so it's going to be 5. Are we okay on what we plugged in before we solve it? Hey, hey, where's the variable? Exponent, so we know logs are going to happen eventually, but not right now. What's got to get booted out of there? Buck 40's got to go. What is that? Zero, five, two, two sevenths? Your calculator will give you? Five sevenths? Yes, that would be better. Or the decimal written all out, your call.
So that's all we did was divide by 140. All right, are you ready for logs? No natural log here because that's not an E, so we ready? So, hey, look, base and exponent are by itself, so yes, you can. What's it going to look like on the right side? Because this is where I get nervous. You guys know it's time to use logs, but how's that look? 5 over H, bring the exponent down. Then you log the base, right? Log a 1 half, keep it balanced. Log a 5 sevenths. All right, I would love to do it in one step here, but this is not where I can do it in one step. I'm going to have to do a couple, uh, one at a time here. So what's your first move? Yeah, get the log one half out of there. All right, good job, guys. So I got five over H here. Ooh, I know I'm going to have to rewrite this and not round it. Uh, what am I looking at there? Point four eight five four two six. Haven't had this yet. Haven't seen this at all. What are you doing to get H by itself now? Oh, I don't want to multiply by five because they won't cancel each other, right? I don't want to multiply by five. You want to leave it there, Doug? Up top, up top, get over here. Get over here. Come on. You have a good break? Yeah. All right, show you see. Whoa, nice. Water slides. How many did you go down? Did you go down a lot? Did you scream? <laughs> no, I, I got it. Thanks, Duncan. Good to see you, bud. Uh, can't multiply by five. Right? I can't, right? I can't multiply by five. That won't get rid of it. You could, you could, right? We can do this, make it into a proportion. We could multiply both sides by H, right? If you wanted to do that, we could. If you multiply both sides by H, it won't, I know it won't get me my final answer, but it'll look a lot more pretty for you guys. But definitely don't multiply by five. I can't have you do that because the fives won't cancel. Let's get a 25 up there. H. Now what do you want to do? I multiply both sides by H, right? Okay. So now divide by your decimal here, right? And even I even though hey, I'm still I'm, I heard you guys. You want to, if you multiply by one fifth, the H is still in the bottom. Okay, right? The H is still in the bottom. It just gets rid of the fives, but it doesn't do anything for me for the H. So this is the only way I'm going to have to do it is multiply both sides by H and divide by that decimal, which I'll just do this and this. How about that? And again, nearest 10,000, so instead of three decimal places, which would be a 1,000, I'm doing four. So I'll start it off, 10 point. Spot you the three. Zero, zero, two. And the second part of this question. Okay, we found the value of H, ready? Next up, what's the mass? Well, the, ma the mass wants to be 40 grams, so how long will it take? How many hours is it gonna take to reach 40 grams? So we already have our H value to plug in. What are we solving for now? T, yep, T, gotta solve for T. All right, what's going in for A then? I will remember, I want my new mass to be 40 now. So that's what I'm going to plug in for A. A0 is not going to change because the initial mass was still a buck 40. So 
one half. You guys said I'm solving for T, and now we now have an H value to plug in, don't we? 10.00, .00 no, point three zero three zero zero zero. There we go. Hey, okay, where, where's my variable? Okay, it's exponent still. So now divide by 140 again. This is the two sevenths, right? I was thinking about. Okay, now we can log. Now the base and exponent are by itself, so log. Very similar to what we did, but a little change up at the end. Divide by log one half. Decimal. I'll catch up to you guys here in a second. Now, unlike the last one, what can I do on both sides here to just finish it off? How can I get rid of the, now it's on the bottom now instead of the top. So now I can multiply by 10.3002. You couldn't multiply by five over here because it was on top, but over here it's on the, it's in the denominator. So yeah, you can multiply by Nearest tenth of an hour. Eighteen point six. Make sure you can get it on your calculator. I was wondering if that calculator would turn on or not, Richie. I was wondering. Bring that dead batteries or not. Too bad it won't be a group test on Friday, huh? We'll see. Yeah, we will see. You better, you better wear as many chains as possible. All right, we're all set. All right, this last one, I made it easy on you guys. It's one question. I only have what? Oh, APERT, yeah. Oh, yeah, our buddy. When in doubt, use APERT on the region, some of you, huh? Throw it down there. When in doubt, use it. All right, we should be pretty good what each everything means here. Uh, how many years will it take for a good old Susie's money to double? Oh, boy. What's capital P here, her principal? 500. That's the amount she invested. E stays E. What are we looking for for R here? Oh, good. There you go. Don't plug in five. Don't plug in point five. Point zero five. Good, kids. And then, woo, what about for A? I don't have any more because I know I'm going to solve for T because it's asking for how many years? A thousand. Why a thousand? We're looking for her initial investment to double, double 500. When's it going to equal a thousand? Yep. All right, let's do it. 
Your first move. Five. Yep, get the 500 out of there. Can't do anything until base and exponent are by itself. Oh, look at that. We get a two, double. Come on. Take a risk. Let's do it. Come on. No. No. We're still going to log? Can we yes. just do the natural log so that I can actually see if I'm doing it? Like, just so that I know. So natural log, you get natural log of two. Yeah. And then over here, they cancel, so you just get 0.05t. Okay, so why would you do that? Uh, I, <laughs> they don't feel comfortable. That's fine. You do what you're comfortable with in here, right? We don't judge. Judgment-free zone, right? Like Planet Fitness, judgment-free zone. No, not at all. I've heard some of you guys talk. This is not a judgment-free zone <laughs> at all. Okay, I'll keep logging. I'll keep logging. All right, if you're going to log instead of doing the natural log, you can. Uh, we can get rid of everything here, the 0.05 and the log E, or if you do feel more comfortable, yes, do it in two separate steps. It says approximately we'll go nearest year, 14 years. <laughs> All right. Might be painful tomorrow. All right, good work. That's it. We got practice tomorrow, two days of review, test.